So on this gray or silver Mazda 6, the oil pan is already on and all the top end components are fitted back and everything cleaned. Now I'm just going to put back the valve cover. Once that is done, we're going to get the carbon cleaning gun. Anyways, the, the bottom needs to cure or dry for at least a day. So I suppose this one will be ready around Tuesday-ish, maybe Wednesday. Let me show you the other one. Have a look at the difference. Hopefully you will be able to see it. Very clean. The top as well. This one still need the timing to be installed on it. And obviously the camshafts and the, the top end parts and the bottom end because the oil pan is still off. So we assume that this one will be again ready by around Wednesday. And with that one, the EGR cooler is cleaned. So I'm going to assemble the parts back together very likely today. Um, and yeah, I'll, I'll talk about a little bit later in the clips about the, the rocker arms and the tappets. I'm assembling it back together. Um, it needed a few tappets and the rocker arms we decided to go with the uh, with the used ones because used are fine and they were cheaper than the the new ones obviously and that is, if you have a look now you can't wobble them so they are stiff or like tight even though the lobes let's say let me show you again this one so the lobe is pointing like quite upwards and it is not wobbling so it's it's perfect um I still need to put the camshaft sprocket to the camshaft and secure it and then tighten it down to the torque specs and then assemble the rest of the parts. I took back together, then I had already done the intake side of the things. I'm going to finish it from the top and then later I'm going to tell you something about the, the tappets or what was wrong with them. Also have a look at the our camshaft collection so if you count that it is nine so far what we've done then is checking the results of the carbon cleaning on the mazda 6 what he done on his own he's done a pretty good job still need a little bit touching up we are going to put this one together, back together today as well. I finished the another red Mazda 6. I'm just bleeding the cooling system. It will still need a new drive belt, which I will show you how to remove it a very quick way. And then I'll tell you a little bit more about the rocker arms and the tappets of this car or which, which the, this car had installed before. As I said previously, I wanted to say something about the tappets and what we believe what the issue was. As you have a look at it, the right side tappet is shorter, so it's not the proper one. And all of them, they were together with the rocker arm. I believe that's, fr that's from Mazda, but from a different engine. I'm not saying it couldn't be put back. Very likely the the rocker arm would be fine, but we just couldn't risk it. We rather got used ones and fitted them because we know 100% sure that those are the original ones. But let me get back to the tappets or lifters. So as you can see, the right one is shorter, but even though the left one is not good because... Look. I can compress it. That's a problem. So they should be stiff and strong so what we believe that was the issue uh, that, that's why the car had the rough idle um, obviously i'm going to take it for a test drive but that's going to be tomorrow um, because we want to finish the other mazda just uh, there behind and tomorrow is a carbon cleaning day again two cars for coming for carbon cleaning um, so we're going to do that and we want to finish this one as well yeah, so stay tuned because there will be a lot of interesting things again 
on the channel. So now let me show you how to remove the drive belt by the book. So we managed to finish that one maybe in, in, in under one hour. So it is leading, the coolant system is leading now. Basically what we've done, we assembled together three cars today, two red Mazdas, just like that one, two, uh, Mazda, uh, two red Mazda 6s. And tomorrow will be the carbon cleaning day. And I'll be doing a few test drives because we are handing back them to the owners. So all of them seems to be good or like success but we will know more once we get uh, the test drive done so yeah thank you very much for watching and see you soon in the very next one take care and bye bye